Okay. Um, may I ask you some questions, please? Sure. Okay. Fantastic. I'm scared. Oh, there's everybody wins. Don't worry. Um, all right. So could you could you please? <laughs> yeah, I win. Uh, could you please pick three fingers and uh, tell me what they are? Uh, your thumb. Okay. Your uh, pinky. Okay. And your middle finger. Okay. So could you please pick uh, two fingers? Your middle finger and your pinky. Okay. Could you please pick one finger? Uh, I'll go with the middle finger. Woohoo! Okay, could you please pick one finger? Uh, pinky. Okay, let's play again. Can you pick one finger, please? <laughs> uh, your middle finger. <laughs> okay, can you pick one finger, please? Your thumb. Yeah, your pinky. Okay, now pick uh, two more fingers, please. Your uh, middle finger and your uh, ring finger. Okay, could you please pick one more finger? Damn it. So I thought that enhanced the illusion of choice. It's the illusion of choice. If I'm asking the questions, provided I ask the right questions, there can be no correct answer. Doesn't mean that you, I mean, ultimately, if if that's what you wanted, let's say you like I thought I was guiding you to something I wanted, it turns out that was the outcome you wanted. Well, let's now let's here's now I'm gonna ask the wrong questions. I might not get what I wanted. Oh, so oh by by the way, sorry to interrupt. Yes, yes. Uh for people that might be just listening to this that uh, no matter what trajectory we took through that decision tree that Ryan was presenting, it was always ending up with a middle finger, ironically enough. I, so, I was surprised. So, and- All of us were surprised. And and we're it, both winners. Yeah, if we all, everyone was- I, I felt like a winner. All right, so now now I'm gonna, now I'll, I'll ask some different questions if you don't mind. Uh, can you please pick two fingers to put down? Uh, your middle finger and your pinky. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so awkward. That's like the worst finger <laughs> positions. Okay, can you please pick? Oh, wait a minute. That's oh, hold on. Yeah. Well, what if you pick two other fingers to put down? Uh, your thumb and your pinky. Okay, my thumb and my pinky. Can you please pick two fingers to put down? Well, whatever two you like. Okay, your uh, middle finger and your pointy finger. Ah. Okay, can you pick two fingers to put down? What's the name? Is index finger. Index finger. Why yeah. I call point, it the point, pointy point, finger? It's the pointy one. That's the one we usually point. It's weird to point with the ring finger. Uh, uh, sorry, what? Do put two more to put down, please. Uh, the middle finger and the ring finger. Ah, man. Yeah. Is it? What if you pick my my ring finger and my index finger? Yeah. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Woohoo! I win. Yeah. So even though I'm asking the questions, it's not impossible that I arrive yeah. at a good outcome for me, but it's it's no longer guaranteed. I went from a situation where I literally can't lose. Yeah, it's pretty low probability. Actually, yeah. Right, super low probability. And the second you realize what I'm doing, you would never let me win yeah. because the ball's truly in your court. So I guess that, that that's kind of what I'm fundamentally trying to put into play almost all the time. Can I ask the right set of questions? Can I develop the ability um, skills-wise, understanding-wise, and then discipline-wise, and then have the courage and the constitution and the, and the discipline necessary, the patience necessary to ask the proper questions and wait for the proper answers. And if I can, all assuming like the perfect world, I win, period. Uh, yeah, so this does that make sense? Yeah, it totally makes sense.